biggest thing we've seen is just really millennial women and men, but really millennial women did not know these stories, right? Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, that to me is one of the most important achievements. I didn't know. She said, I, didn't I don't know. know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. I mean, when I was amazed. Mm -hmm. And they, they weren't anywhere, you know? I mean, shame on us for not knowing, but not really because no one had told them, right? I mean, I just had a baby daughter, and I think about, you know, thank God these stories are here for her and her generation to watch. Do and you feel, how do you feel when you, when you realize that most people don't know yeah. the mad, stories? Mad. Angry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pissed off. No, and especially because I was one of those people being educated that way. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and uh, since then, we have, uh, at least in colleges and in some high schools, women's history, African American history, Asian American history, gay and lesbian, everything that should be called remedial history, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to seek them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, they're still not part of the general education system. And we still learn much more about Europe than we do about Africa, Latin America, or Asia. You know, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it will give you a lot of energy to make change, let me put it that way. <laughs>